Denison falls to Amherst 19-13 here at the Mustang Classic. Glenn Clark with head coach Mike Caravana. Coach, you guys fell behind early, and you kept digging, and you got right back into it a few times, and just ultimately it seemed like they just kept finding ways to come up with answers when you had a run going. Yeah, I thought that they played – I thought that they shot the ball particularly very well. I didn't think any particular goalie played great. I think our kid who came in the second half did a little better. Um, but I got to give them credit. I thought they were quick. They were a little faster to the ball. They got some key ground balls that they needed to get at some key times. We had trouble with the face-offs, so we couldn't really yeah. get a lot of momentum going. But I was impressed with the heart of our team and our competitiveness of our team. But but Amherst is a very strong team. I definitely thought, you know, looking at the film and stuff like that, they're clearly a top five team. And just it was a great contest. And at the end, I think they got, you know, three or four goals at the end. We were right. scrambling around to get it. But give them credit. They were better tonight than we were. Uh, Coach, uh, speaking of the goalies, you, you, we didn't see Cole tonight. We saw two others that didn't have a lot of experience. Can you take us through, you know, sort of how this all played out for you, the decisions you well, made? Well, Cole had the flu. He's actually back at the college. He couldn't even travel because we just left yesterday for our – this is the beginning of our spring break. So he had the flu, so we had to play somebody else. And we were – you know, Cole has been a little bit up and down. So, you know, we just weren't as sharp as we needed to be. But, again, give them credit. I thought they shot the ball particularly very well. And, uh, you know, they came in here w w with a purpose and, and got off to a great start. And uh, – and things just kind of fell that way a little bit. Some ground balls, you know, some things kind of fell that way and didn't come for us and give them credit. But like I said, I thought we fought back. And at times we kind of really, you know, were right. close. We really were close. A couple of times we needed to make a play here or there. But give them credit. I think they came up with, you know, a turnover, a key ground ball, things like that, that they were able to capitalize on quickly afterwards. And uh, we made some mistakes in, on, on defensive end in the second half after some good defense, and that hurt us a little bit. No doubt. Uh, Peter Petroff, four goals, four assists. We know how good he is. I mean, there's no debating that whatsoever. But some of the shots, I mean, he's just throwing out bombs. and you just Well, sort of Peter is a very talented kid. I mean, I was here, you know, three years ago telling you guys about Liam Rooney, and Peter's yeah. in that room, you know, in that way with him. He's just got a real, you know, positive way about him. He's highly competitive kid. He just seems to be able to make plays and need to be made. And, you know, he's clearly one of the better players in the country, I think, as a sophomore. So It's remarkable. Remarkable to watch him play. How do you guys put this one aside? and get ready for Dickinson tomorrow? Well, you know, it's going to be tough for us. You know, we've been fortunate here to be able to play and win, you know, a fair number of games. So we're going to have to learn how to do that a little bit. But, um, you know, but um, I think we want to play tomorrow after a game like tonight. You know, yeah. you want to kind of get back after it a little bit and hopefully we'll have to play well. And, uh, you know, another tough opponent in Dickinson, another well-coached team. And we'll just have to kind of figure out what we need to do to get a little bit better. But I think that we kind of, you know, again, are, are learning about ourselves as much as people think. We're actually a pretty young team. We only play four seniors. And, um, you know, and we have some key guys at some young spots like Peter and the goal and, you know what I mean, and, and things like that. So, you know, we're optimistic. We've had a great start. We were fortunate to win the first three games, and, and this was a tough one. But, again, I thought Amherst was clearly the better team tonight, and they deserve to win. Coach, really appreciate you coming up and spending some time with us. Best of luck tomorrow. Got it. Thank you. He's Coach Mike Caravana. I'm Glenn Clark. This is the Mustang Classic. GoMustangSports.com.